Hi YouTubers, I hope you guys are blessed. I just finished waking up, so excuse me. Um, literally just I'm waking up where I'm still like I'm, I was on the couch and I was gathering myself. So let me see what side this hit. Oh, things on. Okay, take one of these things off. Okay, so um, a lot of you know that if you are new to my channel, if you don't know, I am uh, fasting during the day. Uh, my goal is to fast. Um, Throughout the days, I really need a touch from God. I really need to break some things in my life. And I'm also supporting my friends and fasting for friends and family, my children. I even pray for the president, the world. I pray for people on my job. I pray for my boss, people who are in authority. That is in Romans verses, uh, uh, Romans chapter 13, verse 1. I think it's like 1 through 3. Um, look that up. Because it talks about he who resists authority, you know, what happens and, you know, um, so read that. Um, I love reading Romans because it's a very, very positive chapter. Um, today, as I'm on this fast and, you know, for some reason as I'm fasting, God is reminding me uh, revelations that he's given me throughout the years, way before I was 33, more in my teenage years and when I was in my 20s. I have, uh, today I'm going to bring to you and talk to you about teenagers. Teenagers, uh, in hell. Yes, I did see that. And also, the Judgment Day. I saw that twice as five, at five years old. I saw Judgment Day and also saw Judgment Day, um, in my 20s. <clears throat> okay, so I want to talk about, um, the, the dream of, of hell first with the, the, the teenagers. I was just asleep. You know, it was a regular day uh, when this happened. I fell asleep. And I woke up in hell. But woke up, like say if you're looking at a shark tank or whatever it is, you're looking at a scene, right? You're looking at a scene. And I'm trying to figure out what is going on, right? Okay, regular day. And God, Christian, come up from church, you know, back and forth. Just, you know, everything's going good in my life. Wake up. Trying to figure out what's going on, what I'm seeing. Okay. I'm in a place in hell where teenagers are held. I'm trying to get how to explain the scene. You take a picture, a family picture or a picture, and they want you to use that oval thing to darken the um, outsides of the picture. Okay, so I'm waking up and I'm looking in the outsides of it. It's like a circular vision and it's bubbled in and zoomed in to two teenagers on there. There was a brown tree uh, stump was like this. It was on both sides. So it looked like a U, but the U was going in the middle like this. So it looked like um, two stumps and in the middle it's supposed to be like you know how you see like a log that goes across the city it's straight and uh and you can walk across a log if you were somewhere in another city like thailand and you cross uh, go across a ridge you know this side and that side and it's straight in the middle this was a u it was it was like a little curve that went around like that it wasn't straight and in the middle as i began to zone in to the activity it was two teenagers and I sensed it was a boy and a girl. And they were on this log. And they were very afraid. It was dark in the room. It was dark in this part of hell. It was very dark. And the light was illuminated for God to show me what was going on in this particular section. So the teenagers are dressed in regular clothes. They look like they were Caucasian. Um, they were petite, you know, skinny, not thick, not fat, not like that. Um... I couldn't see their hair or anything like that. It was zoomed in uh, on the activity that was going on. So it was uh, a tree. They were high up. And uh, as they were on this tree, I could see their, their sneakers, their shirt, their jeans. And under them, under all of that was pitch black, nothing but darkness. There was nothing to fall to. There was nothing to fall on or to fall down on. Nothing. It was an endless fall, if you were to fall. And that explained the terror 
and the screams and the shivering and everything that they were facing on this log that the, this tree, both sides was holding them up in the middle. Give me a second. <clears throat> okay, so. They were really, really afraid and terrified. Afraid, terrified of their mind because they were like, if we fall, we, we don't know where, what, what dimension we're going to be falling into. The, the stump on top of that in the middle was slippery. It was slippery, slippery, slippery. And I spent my time looking at these two teenagers slipping and, 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 and crying and screaming and looking down like, oh my gosh. And there was times where they were like slipping you know, going out to the side and they would, they would do it. They were trying and, and, and doing this whole time of trying to find strength to grip on to this, um, this little stump thing they were on in the middle. It was so fat too. And it just seemed like it was, um, equivalized to whatever torment, whatever they faced in their life, whatever they went on. I don't know if it was suicide they went through. I don't know, but whatever, t uh, they faced in their life, it was the, 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 the penalty of, of torment was, 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 um, specialized for them and they spent their whole time trying to grip and hold on and, and keep their legs clamped and, and, and their hands as well to stay on this log and they were terrified they kept looking down into the darkness like oh my gosh if we fall what's going to happen they're, 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 oh, 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 oh. you know that's all you heard the whole time okay as if the scene couldn't get any worse demons came in and they were floating this is what really really got me and they could sense when the demon came into the room. The demon had, this demon did not show his face. It was, matter of fact, the demon's face was dark, pitch black, dark. It was no face there. You, you didn't even see the, uh, the eyes. You didn't even see no red eyes, no crazy demonic teeth. You didn't see anything but a hood. I don't care what I look like. Okay, you ever seen like a, a really, 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 really like big hood, like an oversized hood? Let's say if I would have got like a three, three or four X hood and it's draped over my face like this. And all this part of my face is black and, and I'm floating and I'm coming towards you. And he had weird looking ghost clothes on like if you were to see like they say oh when i see the devil or that thing or sometimes they say they see this big old reaper thing with like this v hook and a stick and then the guy's holding it this thing had on faded looking uh like blue clothes and it was the the arms of it was like angelic you know how you have an angelic outfit meaning the the um the arms are not like this it's draped so everything was draped and he had his hands in the middle i'm trying to see if i can put my hands um let's say you know you have a crazy looking drape hood on i'm not trying to take away from the dream long type of robe is weird looking you know and the the the, the arms of the the the, the rope is big the hoodie on this thing is big and he's holding his hands in the middle where you can't see his hands. So all you see is this long flowy thing and you're trying to figure out what's in this and you can tell that it's a demonic spirit in it. So the demonic, came, the demonic spirit came in from the right. It was a demon that came in and it was floating towards the, the teenagers and they were getting afraid and more and more afraid and more and more afraid as this demon was coming towards them because First of all, they knew that this being was evil and it caused and meant them harm. And they did not want the demon to come any closer to them. So the demon just kept coming. He was floating. You can tell and see that he was floating. They was already terrified at the fact that this demon was floating. I was looking in horror and seeing as this demon was floating towards these kids. And on another side, here comes another demon. He came in from the other side. So one came in from the right. One came in from the left. Okay. And they were both nearing in on the children slowly and it was a game to them and it was funny to them they didn't have no face they knew that it, it caused intense fear of the face and they, and they were quiet they weren't saying anything and it was just a whole um 
intent of this level of torment was to get these kids to fall. And they knew the kids, they, they were in, in, uh, inserting fear. They knew that they did not want to experience that. The demons were coming closer and closer and closer. And they were falling and slipping. And every time they really, really would. And um, they were gripping themselves, moving on the log in different places that they can move. But time was winding up when it came to how close the demons were getting. There was no place for them but to do to get away from these demons but to fall. That was terrifying and horrifying, okay? <sighs> this demon's robe was just like a regular old robe. You can tell that the demon was petite and skinny, and it didn't really have no body, bodily features. You know, they can change it to what they want to change it to. They're demonic, and they have certain powers. No hands, no face, no legs, no feet, just floating in the air in a long robe that was like oversized for him. Both of them, both of the demons showed no face, no nothing. Just robe in a pitch, back, pitch black darkness. You couldn't see nothing. Let me get into the judgment day. I was in my 20s and um, I was, uh, wake up, I woke up into a dream and I woke up in a long line of people. A lot of this line consisted of teenagers. People fight and talk about not seeing kids in hell, but I want to be honest with you. I'm going to tell you what the word of the Lord says. I am not here to worry about persecution. I am not here to worry about anything. I'm saying what the word of the Lord is saying. This could be saving teenagers, okay? A long line of judgment day. Young, black, old, short, young, every different nationality, okay? I was in this line, okay? I was in this line and everybody had papers. The papers were, what did you do on earth when you were here? God gave everybody papers, and in the spirit, we all have papers. We're all walking around with papers, and they're either fulfilled or they're not. There was an angel in the room, and the angel was foreseeing the line, and the angel was looking at everybody in the line. I even looked at the line. The angel came and pulled me out the line and grabbed me and looked at my papers because the angel knows I'm a servant of God. Anyone who's a servant of God, whether if you're backslidden or not, that is just how things are. They all, you all have an overseer. You all have a guardian angel. And they are watching everything that we're doing. Sinning, repenting of it, not repenting of it, whatever you're doing. So I get pulled out the line. The angel goes, okay, you got three three papers done. You need to get the rest of them done. And I looked as the, the line was moving swiftly. As I, the angel took me out the line, I saw tons of teenagers. And the angel took me to the front of the line and it caused me to, and allowed me to experience a man of God. He was not a man of God, excuse me, a man standing before God. White Caucasian, tall, very handsome. Broad had a suitcase on with some nice shoes. He had, um, he was dressed nice like in a navy suit, matching with some nice shoes and a suitcase. And God was just like, I know that you did personal things and different things in your life and you was rich and all that, but you ain't did nothing with your life with me, you know, away from me. And the guy was trying his hardest and he had a look on his face like, oh, that's messed up. You gonna let me go into hell? You can't just forgive me and wash it away. You're going to let me go in here. I ain't going. Oh, heck no. I ain't going up in here. And he was fighting the angel and backing up from the, the lake of fire. The lake of fire was right here, right here by the judgment line. The lake of fire was right there. And the uh, the guy was trying to run so bad. And the angel went in and assisted him and dropped him in the lake of fire. And uh, I, you know, I, I pray and hope that, uh, you know, these two dreams uh, and encourages somebody today. You know, this is real. I did see this. And as I'm uh, going through this fast, I also had a really, really mighty dream. I woke up this morning. I'm still trying to register and come out of. And as God settles it and uh, brings it back to my memory and, and, and an interpretation comes, I, I will share if it's something that's, uh, you know, if it's not personal for my life. Um, but yes, I saw these two dreams and, and, and it's really focused on teenagers. Um, a lot of teenagers were in line. It was other nationalities, other races and ages, but it was teenagers, a lot of them. And they were, everyone in line who didn't have their papers done, everyone knew if they were with God or not already. And they were terrified what they were seeing that was up ahead at the judgment line when you got to the front. You guys be blessed. I know I didn't pray. Father God, I ask that you would bless these people with this, um, these two dreams I had and whatever they can get from it, bless them to get it. And whoever's on YouTube scrolling and looking for something to revelation to give them uh, more conviction or, 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 or something they can hold on to, bless them to come across this, this, this uh, video. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over every single last one of you in my life and everybody's. Amen.